नमस्कार आज हम आई आर एस पॉइंट मशीन में एडजस्टमेंट और सेफ्टी चेक्स इसके बारे में जानकारी लेंगे टूडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आई आर एस पॉइंट मशीन व्हाट आर द एडजस्टमेंट एंड द सेफ्टी चेक्स वी नीड टू डू वाइल कैरिंग आउट मेंटेनेंस ऑफ आई आर एस पॉइंट मशीन दिस इज द बेसिक इंट्रोडक्टरी गोइंग फर्दर friction clutch this is the one of the important parts of a point machine this friction clutch requires an adjustment if the slipping current or obstruction current is more than 1.5 to 2 times of the normal working current if we take as an example of 2 amps which is the normal working current then the slipping current shall be 1.5 to 2 times that is 3 to 4 amps if the working if the obstruction current is between 3 to 4 amps then your friction clutch is working properly similarly if the difference between normal working current and current under obstruction is less than 0.5 amps then you need to replace the friction clutch completely that is if the normal working current is 2 amps and the obstruction current is let us say 2.4 amps that is it is less than the difference is less than 0.5 amps then you have to replace the friction clutch and the third one if the point machine under obstruction draws less than 1.57 times 1.75 times the normal operating current then machine needs to be checked for proper functioning that is if it is between 1.5 to 1.75 times that is between 3 to 3.5 amps then you need to check for proper functioning koi oiling zarurat padegi there may be requirement of lubrication and other such things if it is between 1.75 to 2 times that is 3.5 to 4 amps in obstruction your system is working properly most important point here is that the friction clutch shall be adjusted only in workshop we should not adjust the uh, friction clutch at site because we cannot know the uh, current and load at which it will slip as i have already told you it will generally slip between 450 kg weight adjustment of driving rod the point shall be adjusted by operating the machine first by crank this is initial adjustment when you have start kept uh, fastened the point machine jab naya point machine lagaye ho us time pe initial adjustment karenge in that the point shall be adjusted by operating the machine first by crank handle the insertion of the crank handle should disconnect the power supply to the machine now when the point has been fastened down the through connection shall be set up and point shall be cranked to one end let us say normal or reverse and the appropriate dog shall go through into it the adjustment shall be done both in normal and reverse direction now the close switch shall be adjusted to just in contact with the stock rail when you crank handle it tongue rail on stock rail they come together after that you have to adjust your uh, tongue uh, tongue rail pressure by giving more pressure 2 to 3.5 mm spring action shall be given by tightening the nuts provided the same shall be done at the other end also now how you will adjust the detector contacts so in detector contacts so first you have adjusted the lock then you have adjusted your throw slide now you are adjusting your detection contacts in detection contacts adjustment you have to provide 1.6 mm test piece between stock rail and switch rail at 150 mm from toe of the switch and operate the point in this condition adjust and ensure that the detection contacts just make detection contacts just make there should not be much pressure now 
insert 3.25 mm test piece between the stock rail and uh, tongue rail at a distance of 150 mm same 150 mm from the toe of the switch now how you will adjust it adjust and ensure that the detection contacts just break yeah just break rehna chahiye it should not make properly the same shall be repeated at the other end the third one will be the obstruction test in this test it a 5 mm test piece used and it is placed again at 150 mm from the toe of the switch when this 150 mm uh, distance pay we are providing this 5 mm test piece three things should take place one the point cannot be locked the detection contacts should not assume the position indicating point closure that is the detection contacts should not make and friction clutch should slip all these three things are required when you do the obstruction test this is the way your adjustment is done now let us come to the next part which is the safety check there are different safety checks when you need to do which you have to do for a point machine what are they this is a correspondence test it is done during a new installation when the point is provided for the first time after every interlocking alteration or periodically once in five years then obstruction test it is to be done once in 15 days by the technician monthly by je and ssc as required track locking test half yearly by je bar ssc out of correspondence test crank handle cutout test insulation test detection contact break test and correspondence test all this shall be done half yearly by je or ssc and double cutting arrangement also has to be checked if it is available or not now going into deep into each safety check what is correspondence test this correspondence test is done for every new installation as discussed and at every interlocking alteration any major alteration is done in the yard or periodically once in five years here you can see two ends of the point crossover this is let us say a end and this is b end so when the correspondence test is done you should see that these two points are set to normal direction and the indication on the panel is also normal similarly if the point is set in reverse direction and this one is also set in reverse direction then the indication on the panel should also be reverse if this indication the correspondence test fails then you should check your wiring if there is any wrong wiring or either at location box or point machine or in the tljb that is provided here so it may be any wrong wiring so simply speaking point normal indication on panel should be normal if the point is reverse indication on panel should be reverse this is correspondence test the next important test is the obstruction test and this test is done once in 15 days by the technician and every month by je bar ssc the test should uh, be done with a 5 mm test piece with the 5 mm test piece provided at 150 mm between on the between the stock rail and tongue rail the point should not be locked indication contacts should not make and friction clutch should slip this obstruction test we have actually discussed in the previous slide also another safety check is track locking test this track locking test should be done half yearly by je bar ssc so how you will do this half yearly uh, test of uh, track locking first initially you have to short the track circuit here and drop the track then operate the point point operation should not be initiated 
क्योंकि ट्रैक ड्रॉप है पॉइंट ऑपरेशन स्टार्ट होना नहीं चाहिए नाउ पिक अप द ट्रैक एंड ड्रॉप अगेन इमीडिएटली आफ्टर द पॉइंट स्टार्ट्स इन इट्स ऑपरेशन सो यू हैव शॉर्टेड द ट्रैक सर्क्यूट नाउ पिक अप द ट्रैक रिमूव द शॉर्ट सर्क्यूट once you remove the short circuit point operation will start and immediately drop the track again that is now the point is still in the middle and not set and you have dropped the track in that condition point should not stop in the middle it should go either to the normal direction or reverse direction as the case may be this is track locking test if the test fails that is if you drop the track and the point operation stopped then you have to check the circuitry either wj or circuitry may contacts may be through that is track circuit contacts may be through or you have to check the wlr circuit in the relay room also if required now out of correspondence test this again has to be done half yearly by je or ssc it is to be done for all crossover points so this is a crossover point a end is available here the other end is b end here so when both points are normal your normal indication should come and both points are reverse your reverse indication should come now out of correspondence is a bit different here if point a end is kept in normal and b end is kept in reverse position then that is out of correspondence then point should not have the indication of either normal or reverse wo flashing mein rehna chahiye if this is both are not in the same condition then flashing is a must then it is tank handle cutout testing this has to be done once uh every 6 months bar je bar ssc here you have to insert the crank handle in the point machine point should not operate here you have inserted the crank handle in this condition the contacts are broken and the point should not get operated this is first point number 2 only nominated crank handle should unlock the cutout switch so this is the crank handle uh, uh, key which is used and only the nominated key should get inserted other keys should not be should not be inserted if here for example you have up crank handle so this up crank handle should be used only for up points up line points if it is kept in down direction points the crank handle should not go inside the system will be such that only nominated crank handle can get inserted inside safety checks the next one will be the insulation test of point machine and cables related cables this has to be done half yearly by je bar ssc insulation should be checked for point machine with its body Use a 100 volts maker for open line stuff. हम लोग open line stuff की बात करेंगे. If it is workshop, they will use 500 volts, and it should be more than 10 mega ohms. For cables, use 500 volts maker, and the resistance of the cables shall be more than 5 mega ohms per kilometer. Now, how this uh, testing has to be done? These six contacts should be made through with the help of a wire. You will have a magger. Magger का एक वायर यहाँ पे लगाना है, and the other one should be provided to the body anywhere to the body. And when you magger it, your resistance should be more than 10 mega ohms. That is, you are testing the insulation between your motor and the body of the point machine. If it is less, then your motor winding is defective and getting short circuited with your point body then current will be more whenever point is operated detection contact break test 
and cross protection wiring this shall be done once in half year by je and ssc both these tests are done here you have to break the detection contact one by one these are the detection contacts these are the inside ones or detection contacts these detection contacts you have to break each one separately and check if the indication is flashing this actually proves the integrity of your cable from your location box to the point machine if for instance maybe 124 volt supply is coming here and it should go from here positive is coming in conductor let us say conductor one number one and going in conductor number two if for instance your cable is defective and one and two conductors got short circuited then it can lead to unsafe condition even if you disconnect the supply here your indication will be available this is this this check will help to find out the integrity of the cable from location box to your point cross protection wiring in the point machine should also be available the outgoing from the detection contacts will be wired to the control contacts here the spare contacts are used this is for operation while this is for spare so the outgoing 24 volts is connected to here this will help in cross protection and whenever any foreign feed comes in unfavorable condition the point will not operate then double cutting arrangement should also be checked if it is available in the circuitry so with this i will end this presentation thank you be safe do all the safety checks jai hind